I'm not really taking very much milk from Helly right now because today is probably the last time that I'm going to be milking her uh, for the next year or so. Already dried Heather off recently, um, which I talked about a few vlogs back. Um, and been milking Helly just really to have some milk for the house. Um, but yes, I've made the decision to dry her off now. Um, and that will be so that we can put these two main milkers, the two white goats, uh, in kid this winter. Which will actually mean that we won't have milk for the house for quite a long time. Um, so we're really excited about getting them in kid. Um, however, it's, it's going to be the first time we don't have milk uh, from our goats for like three and a half years. So it's going to be quite strange having to go and buy it. So we're a little bit sad about it, but going through this process of drying them off and getting them in kid, that's going to be our first time actually doing that on this farm because they've always either arrived in kid or just post kidding as in when we've bought them as adults, really. Um, so yes, yeah, so this will be our first time attempting this. Um, so there's some nerves about it, but also excitement. Um, it'd be lovely to have some goat kids on the farm next year. It's gonna be very little, I think that's probably enough. Because really the drying off, I mean, she's still quite tight actually. The drying off process really is just taking less and less milk and waiting for her body to register that there's basically nothing taking the milk anymore and then to stop producing it. So I don't want her to be in pain for it to get too full or tight when we're not milking. So today we've actually waited a bit later to milk, seeing what it's like, and they are quite tight. So it might be that we still carry on for the next few days, just taking a little bit. I'm leaving it very quite full right now, but obviously they're not as full as they were because the milk has gone down over the last two weeks because her body would just start to produce less. Just trying to work out what the right amount is to take today and if this is the last day this will be our last um fresh goat's milk very small amount as you can see that's probably about 700 milliliters or something yeah it's gonna be a real shame because i love the milk so it will also be an interesting time because i won't have to milk every day uh which has literally been something for the past three and a half years so although there's a lot of positives to that yeah the idea of not having to do that every day is also quite uh, maybe liberating. Yeah, it's bittersweet really. But yes, basically we won't be milking again until, yeah, we've weaned her kids. So once Helly's been in kid and then that'll be five months where she's, where she's pregnant and then she'll have those kids. We're gonna let the kids take the milk for about 12 weeks really probably. Um, and with Mandy, we just uh, decided to let her like naturally wean them and just started to bring her onto the milking stanchion as she was weaning the kids and would just take what was left of the milk so that it didn't go down. Um, so that's the kind of idea with these guys. So it might be, yeah, eight months from the point of getting her and kid until we actually might start getting some milk again. So yeah, close to a year from now. I think she might, I think they quite enjoy coming in here as well and having this time. So yeah, it'll be a bit strange for them as well. It's something I've got used to over these last few years. The routine of Rosa clanking the milking pails in the morning, making her way out to milk while I'm doing the hens or watering the polyton or whatever it is. But like Rosa was saying, it is gonna be great having a bit of a rest from yeah. them over the next yeah. uh, sort of half a year ahead yeah. of us. Definitely, and a chance to learn as well. Like there's things that sometimes the kind of doing can take up so much time mm -hmm. that you, you kind of sometimes wanna sit back and just like, yeah, get scratched up on a few things and mm -hmm. Definitely with the cheese making, that's something that I have really enjoyed doing with the more milk from these new goats. Mm. And uh, that's been brilliant and a huge learning curve, but there's definitely things that I need to build my knowledge on uh, to get to that next stage with like hard cheeses and things. Um, so that's something that I'd really like to spend some time kind of studying a little bit, rather than the constant having to make the cheese a few times every week uh, because of the amount of milk that was constantly coming in. So yeah, I think the rest will be a kind of good, uh, chance to just um, review yeah see what we can kind of uh, yeah change for mm. some of the things about the goats as well for the next time that they're producing milk and 
yeah, just different things about all the systems involved with mm -hmm. them. So it'll give us a bit more time. Your level of dedication over the last three years has been amazing. Mm -hmm. I've been very impressed. Every day, come rain, hail, snow, come all the weathers, Rosa has been getting up every day to come out and milk the goats. All to give us amazing fresh milk in the morning. Well, my mum, who lives next door, gets a bottle of milk every day. And, and not having to go to the supermarket for the last three and a half years to buy milk and, and some cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been crazy uh, that that has been available for us. There's so much energy to do something when you enjoy working with the animals, seeing how it interacts with the systems that you have kind of uh, created on mm -hmm. a farm and then also to get like tasty food from it. Mm. It's like win-win. Win-win, yeah. yeah. So it does give you just kind of infinite energy for something, really. Mm. I mean, they're not going. We're like, talking about no, like they're know. dying. No, we? but yeah. it's a big part it's, it's of gonna be a bit the very life different. here yeah, is the daily milking, yeah. filtering no. the milk, bottling yeah. it, thinking about the diet of the goats, which transfers to the milk. It'll be a nice rest for them, and then they'll be back into producing milk again. Yeah. Oh, Helly. She's so gentle. She's like our most gentle cook. I've got used to Rosa sort of having that to do in the morning, but also this year I started milking myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm milking myself.